good morning dear friends in the last class we have learned about uh, how much power are required for uh, motor to uh, overcome this uh, aerodynamic power and uh, rolling resistance and gradient power everything so accordingly we have derived the power values we have calculated the power for the vehicle of k shaped uh, vehicle, vehicle of which is having uh, mu r or uh, which is which is suitable for concrete road uh, how much power it will be accordingly we have finally direct calculated this value as 130 kilowatts so in this lecture i am going to explain how uh, to choose the ampere hour of the battery so that i can show through the simulation how the performance of the same battery will be let me explain this uh, to calculate this ampere hour of the battery <coughs> in this for calculating ampere hour of the battery now already already uh, we know that lithium ion battery is good for electrical vehicle application since it has when compared with other another energy sources it has high specific power and uh, reasonable specific energy so now already we have calculated the tractive power is nothing is approximately 130 kilowatts tractive power is 130 kilowatts so now assume the voltage input of the machine voltage uh, i can uh, the capable uh, how much voltage i can give to the motor is 300 volt assume that this much voltage only we can give give accordingly how what is the current rating current is nothing but 130000 watts divided by 300 uh, uh, volt so we will have 433 ampere 433 ampere so now we should understand we should calculate how much power given by the battery so normally efficiency of the battery is only 80 percentage not 100 percentage so we have to include the remaining 20 percentage also in the calculation we have to take it in account so now we know efficiency means output of the battery divided by input of the battery input of the battery that is nothing but 80 percentage 0.8 so from this we can have input of the battery how much input of the battery needed is equal to output of the battery divided by 0.8 already we have the output of the battery is nothing but uh, for, but 130 kilowatts divided by 0.8 so that input required is input of the battery should be battery should have the power of receiving 130 divided by 0.8 so 163 kilowatts so now if we need this kilowatts for one hour one hour we need to pro battery should provide one hour energy means one hour means the energy required for one hour to deliver 163 kilowatt hour is 163 kilowatt hour once again repeat already the power required is 163 kilowatts uh, uh, 163 kilowatts but uh, for one hour the energy required to provide this 163 kilowatts for one hour is nothing but energy is 163 kilowatt hour from this we can calculate ampere hour of the battery ampere hour of the battery is nothing but energy required in kilowatt hour divided by the voltage is 300 volt so we will have 543 ampere hour ampere hour so now this battery parameters are voltage is 300 volt current rating is uh, current rating is 433 amps and ampere hour 
is ampere hour is 543 ampere hour 543 hour so power which can delivered by this battery is 163 kilowatts this so these are all the assumption uh, the calculate from this assumptions we have calculated so let me explain directly to that uh, matlab simulation this matlab simulation i have connected one battery i can measure here state of charge current and voltage and all then if you open it nominal voltage is 300 volt and rated capacity which i have calculated is 543 ampere hour initial normally the battery should not be uh, fully charged also for safety purpose moreover battery should not be fully discharged also below 40 40% so accordingly i have chosen this initial state of charge is 80% now this resistance i have chosen 3.5 ohm so that 300 divided by 3.5 ohms approximately we have around 100 uh, 100 amps 100 uh, amps and all so that we will have the power rating accordingly that current discharge also we can calculate now if you run the simulation for 3.5 this simulation is run for 3600 seconds that means one hour we run the simulation we can see this voltage of the state of charge of the battery is around uh, it is reducing uh, then uh, current also approximately 92 amps then 323 volt of voltage is approximately 323 volt so now if you see if we ready increase the load for example to automatically state of state of uh, state of charge will drastically come down and that current uh, the statically can come down from 80 to 40 percent so it can withstand 3500 seconds so again if i reduce this battery further one second one uh, reduce again increase the load again automatically battery we cannot withstand more than uh, 3500 here itself that battery charge has come down below 20 percentage you can only use till this 40 percentage approximately around we till this 2500 seconds so we cannot use it for one hour also if suppose if we use this if we load if we increases so that i have chosen here 3.5 or resistance so that we can have the state of charge also it will it will reduce very slowly reduce very slowly and uh, current also 92 approximately then voltage is approximately 323 so this is the way i have designed this uh, uh, battery for electrical vehicle application i hope uh, you can understand the concept how to choose the battery how to uh, choose the power calculation and lifting power also there lift that's also opposing power in the battery in this uh, electrical vehicle one can analyze that also this is for study purpose i have designed the concept for uh, the power design of the motor as well as uh, battery for the power power rating of 130 kilowatts i hope it is understandable kindly subscribe this channel if you like it if you don't like it comment on it also uh, what is the problem and accordingly i will correct myself uh, i hope it is understandable then you can press the bell button also so that you can uh, you can get the updated uh, videos whichever i am publishing day by day wish you all the best thank you